And we gonna keep this thing going, representing Baton Rouge. I want y'all to get off my man, D. Lay. What's going on, Sam Bernardino? Make some noise! Oh, glad to be here, man. I am a Southern boy. Yes, I am. Uh, yes, yes, Louisiana. I'm out in uh, California now, doing my California thing. I went ahead and got with the trend. I got me a white girlfriend. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, 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 you don't know what the fuck I'm going through. I love my white girlfriend. She's amazing, she's a model. 5'10", blonde hair, green eyes, sexy as shit. Look at the sisters. I can't believe this motherfucker be talking all that shit. Don't judge me, sisters. But my wife is black. Look at the sisters, that's different, boo-boo. That's different, boo-boo, that's different. Ain't nothing wrong with a mixed race. Listen, listen, I need two people helping me, goddamn. We're in a recession, you understand? Let me, let, Miss White Lady, you, you been with a black guy before? No, you said it like you wanted to, okay. Oh. So you don't know what they say about black men is true. You have no idea what they say about black men is true. <laughs> They'll fuck your credit up, that's exactly what... Yes, they will. I didn't even know my credit was at, what about 700 credit scores? At 700, what yet? 700, 700. Okay, I started too high, I started too high. <laughs> Looking for a 430, anybody got a 430? Four, that's the range right there, I like that. I didn't even know my credit was in ruins. I had no idea. I went to go test drive a new car. They ran my credit, came back and took the keys to my old car. <laughs> Shit! I met D-Lay in D.C. and um, the crazy thing about D-Lay, D-Lay was a reserve comedian. He was not even on the show. One comedian bombed and D-Lay came in and stole the show. Representing Kappa Alpha Psi, all my Greeks, I want to see y'all in the building tonight, this whole weekend. Omegas, Alphas, Sigmas, Sigmas uh, all the females, all the AKAs, all the Deltas. Yeah, man, this bring back memories <laughs> like a mother. How long did you work here? Three years. Serendipity means the luck of something, like how like maybe you meet up this person you call cross street, Ooh. two best friends, didn't even know, and boom, it's just like fort fortuitous. Who? That's a good word. Fortuitous. Mm. That's a good uh, word. Would you like that word. Record, I don't That's know about word. it. Ah, you want it's me to go Google it? I landed in Vegas. I landed over right by Planet Hollywood. I walked on the strip. I parked my car and I looked around. And I remember saying this. I remember saying one day, my name is gonna be in those lights. I remember saying it. I ain't even got a job at this time. <laughs> I'm in Vegas because I had a dealing trait. I could deal. I started off at the lowest casino on the strip. The dude said, hey man, you hang around this casino two more years, you'll be ready to move up to the strip. I said, two years? He obviously don't know me. <laughs> dealing. Damn, I'm now in the wind. I tell my buddy, I'm gonna go gambling today. So we go down to Planet Hollywood, we play, I gamble. I win $10,000, real shit, I win 10000 I said, I'm gonna get out of here, man. He said, what you about to do? I said, I'm about to go quit my job. I walk into the human resources. I had the 10000 in my pocket. I had my hand on it just to remind me that I can quit. I'm quitting, I'm not gonna, I'm doing this. You know, if you quit, you're not eligible for rehire. I said, thank you. Walked out to the casino with 10000 in my pocket. Don't know what I'm gonna do next. At all. Not a clue, but I'm going to L.A. Hug my body! What's the chances of this happening? You can't even script this. My folks from Louisiana just popped up in Vegas. This is not scripted. This is real. This is, I haven't seen him in years. This is crazy. Y'all gonna make me tear up. Get it together, dude! What's the likelihood of that? Who are they? My folks from Louisiana. You know Russell, right? right. My cousin's on Russell's side. Those are his aunts. That is crazy. And we just, and we in Vegas, and they're from Louisiana. And they walked up the same. <laughs> Serendipity. 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 Hey. Serendipity. <laughs> Serendipity, E. Fortuitous. But like a lot of people don't know, like I grew up in a house, no mother, no father, raised by my grandmother. If you got odds like that against you, two things gonna happen. You're gonna fold. Or make it. Or you're gonna break the cycle. It's broken. It's broken. It's broken. 
I'm on a ladies' night out to him. Let's get it. Just trying to get my shit together, people. That's all I'm trying to do. Let me just tell you something, fellas, heads up. If you don't have your act together, ladies won't even date you. A couple of years ago, I'm working at Jack in the Box. I don't really have my act together. I don't. This shit gonna come in delay. I would go out with you, but <laughs> you work here. <laughs> I'm like, bitch, you do too. <laughs> get the fries off. I'm still your manager, goddamn. Cause like I said, I'm living in LA. These homeless guys, you don't know, LA got some of the best dressed homeless dudes you ever seen in your life. <laughs> this cat walked up to me, hey brother, uh, you got five dollars on you? I'm like, aren't those the new true religion jeans? <laughs> Get your stylish dirty ass away from me. <laughs> you see them out there with the signs, they want you to feel sorry for them. I can't. You see the signs. We'll work for food. What the hell are we working for? <laughs> you supposed to work for food, you lazy bastard. <laughs> They kill me with that. Let me tell you why I don't feel sorry for them. I don't feel for, sorry for these homeless guys for this reason. When you got a group of people like Mexicans that work as hard as they do, we stereotype Mexicans, yes we do, but they're probably some of the hardest workers we ever seen. They work hard. Yeah. Where are my Mexicans? Any Mexicans in the house? <laughs> Thank y'all for taking off from work. I appreciate that. I do. <laughs> appreciate that. Love them. This is one particular guy in the homeless clan I can never feel sorry for. You've seen him before. Every time you stop your car to red light, he wants to clean your windshield. That's nothing. That ain't impressive to me. I stopped my car at a red light. A Mexican painted my shit. Oh. <laughs> I said, God damn, Jorge, you are awesome. <laughs> How did you do it? He said, I go like this, like that, and voila. <laughs> it's so easy. <laughs> Love my Mexicans. Y'all think Mexicans just showed up? Mexicans been around a long time. If you don't believe me, read your Bibles. <laughs> Noah <laughs> built an ark all by himself. <laughs> That's some Mexican shit, I'm sorry. This is... <laughs> Only a Mexican take a project that big with no co-workers, now shit. A brother would've had questions with God, you want me to build the ark? <sighs> <laughs> by myself? Ain't your son a carpenter? Love my Mexicans. Let me tell you something, people. Follow me on this. If Mexicans have been a part of slavery, that shit wouldn't last no 400 years. That'd have knocked it out in like three summers. <laughs> the master would have been talking shit. Pick that cotton, boy. We're finished, fucker. <laughs> I go like this, like that, and voila! It's so easy! <laughs> Love my Mexicans. Let me tell you something, people. You ain't party until you party with some Mexicans. <laughs> huh. Huh. Mexicans know how to party. They don't party all night long. They party all fucking month. They get it in. <laughs> and they like to eat these peppers, these, these habanero peppers. Yeah, black people, these are not our peppers. <laughs> Give them back. I ate three of these papers, fuck my guts up for four weeks. You ever wipe your ass so many times you just give up? Shit, 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 most shit, shit, shit. Fuck it, I need to get in the tub. Toilet so long, your legs fall asleep. You're like, I got restless leg syndrome. Oh shit, here come the peppers. People, listen to me. If this sound never comes out of your ass, your ass is on fire. Shit, this is hot. Help me. I gotta pray about this. Heavenly Father, please, skip the demons that send my stomach. I rebuke you, Peppers. I rebuke you, Yams. The devil is a liar.
I like a mature audience, a lot of beautiful ladies. Ladies, since I got you, let me ask you a question, lady. Ladies, does size matter? Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Well, let's, let's, look at the ladies trying to protect the itty bitty man. No. <laughs> Three inches is enough for me. <laughs> All right, ladies, let's have some fun with it. What's an average size? Just yell it out. Yeah, nine. Oh, shit, nine. Oh. <laughs> Uh, thank you, a uh, six, uh, nine. I, I said average, man. I said average is nine inches. Let me just go ahead and throw this out there. Uh, if you want nine inches from me, you want me and another man. And just this ain't no fucking Lego. I just can't unfold the shit. Be like, hold up. That's ridiculous, fellas. Do you hear that shit? I blame you guys. I blame you. Stop lying about the size of your shit. They're gonna find out at some point. Me and this chick are making out one night. It's hot, it's heavy, and it's steamy. She said, wait, D-Lay, wait, we, we need protection. I said, you're right. She pulls out a super magnum condom. <laughs> I said, who's that for? <laughs> she said, it's for you, boo-boo. I said, does it come with a drawstring? God damn it, because <laughs> that is not going to fit me. I'm not gonna embarrass myself walking around with a condom hanging on my shit looking like a loose crown raw bag. <laughs> Fuck that. I tell the truth. I tell ladies all the time. My shit is like Bud Light. It won't fill you up, but it'll never let you down. <laughs> Who thirsty? I'm telling you, fellas, they have unreal expectations. These ladies have unreal expectations. Fellas, you ever been making love to your lady? And you are putting it down, as far as you know. <laughs> and you hear this shit, more, more, more. Look, this is it. <laughs> you act like I can unwind some more. Like, oh, you want more. They have unreal expectations. I had a lady tell me, D-Lay, I want you to make love to me till the morning light. <laughs> <laughs> we can if we start at 5.55, goddamn it. <laughs> Six o'clock is light outside. I did my shit. I tell ladies all the time, having sex with me is like watching the previews to a new motion picture. <laughs> I'm coming soon, goddamn it. <laughs> Folks, I'm D-Lay. Y'all been simply marvelous. Yo! Give it up for D-Lay, give it up for D-Lay.